Welcome back. Pat Becker hosts Dog Talk right here on KSBI Saturday mornings at 10 o'clock, and she is back with us today to answer some more viewer doggy questions. Welcome oh, back. I have been getting flooded with them. I guess because some people are on vacation, other people are out of school, so they got nothing better to do. They call me. Well, there hey, you go. people That's have a lot right. of questions. Yeah. They need an expert Obviously, like you. They do. <laughs> there you go. Well, the first one comes from Allie in Midwest City. She says, uh, my her basically her husband and mother-in-law are both allergic to pets, so they ended up getting a German Shepherd fostering. One. She says everything was fine for a while. The dog and my husband got along great, except of course she wasn't allowed in the house. She was supposed to be an outside dog. They'd play in the backyard every night, and then the dog would whine a little as he left. Then she started tearing things apart in the yard. She dug holes, chewed water hoses, even tore the cable um, to one of the air conditioners. Wow. Man, that's a mess. That could be dangerous. It yeah. could be dangerous. And this is a very typical of a dog that uh, you know people don't know what to do with. Now this dog obviously. Its history is an X factor. They got it from someone who was fostering it, so there, this would have been the third family at least that the dog had gone into. So the dog is very tentative, you know, very uh, upset about uh, what's going on in its life right now. Finally found somebody who plays with it. Uh, the dog gets along with a person, but hello, the dog must have been an inside dog at one time because the dog is very confused about what's going on. So this is called acting out, and they do it, a lot of times I would check the dog for a hyperthyroid problem, which happens a lot with dogs. But uh, generally speaking, this is a compulsion. The dog needs to either be rehomed from there, and the person or the family needs to be checked out so that this dog can go and be an inside dog and live with the family. This is not gonna go, go well. The mother-in-law definitely is allergic, so the dog cannot come in. So it's not a good thing. Okay. okay. Well, here's the next one. This is from Katie and Shawnee. I have a three-year-old Scottish Terrier who is about to get kicked out of the neighborhood. I adopted Charlie from a local rescue four months ago. When I leave for work, I put her in her secure fenced-in backyard, but I'm told she howls loudly for some time while I'm gone. On the weekends when she vocalizes, I bring her inside. I don't want my neighbors to be mad at me. What is wrong with uh, Charlie? I want to keep her... But her behavior is bad and gonna get kicked out of the neighborhood. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> well, dogs that bark are a problem. And dogs that bark in the yard generally cause other dogs to bark in their yard, so it creates a, a big problem within a neighborhood. This is another um, issue with an acting out thing. Now, ch this dog, Charlie, obviously uh, was also a rescue dog, and uh, so you don't know her, her history at this particular point. She probably was very close to whomever she was with. A lot of senior people die, and, and then the dog is handed you know, from pillar to post. So this dog has attached itself to this person. So I think, to, in my mind, and when I talked with this person, I thought it was separation anxiety because she finally found a, another person. She's only had her for, I think, a few months, so which would indicate that the dog has not really gotten comfortable in her surroundings. So I was really suspect of this, but then I found out after talking with her that the next door neighbor is a retired gentleman who actually grinds and polishes stones to make jewelry. Interestingly enough, it was out on his patio because of the, the smell and the, the thing. His wife probably didn't want it inside. Yeah, huh? mm -hmm. But these particular drills make a very high-pitched noise. Hmm. And sometimes you even can't hear them as humans, yeah. but you can as dogs. So I said to her, ask this gentleman to just defer from doing that for a couple of days and test it and see. The dog didn't howl. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. You wow. got right to the bottom Look of that one. That. Pat. Well, but you, but you know, you, you just never know because yeah. acting out, there's always a reason. They're like people. You know, That's people right. act out. There's usually an issue there. We need yeah. to change dog talk into dog detective. And dog you could be the detective. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to do some research. And one more issue to talk about today. Um, of course, this was on the news. A person locked their dog in their car with the air conditioning on while they attended an appointment. It is so hot right now. This is so dangerous. What happens if, it's, you know, it's, it's something so happens? Dangerous. It's so dangerous. I got, uh, weren't emails, I got direct calls from people saying, have you seen this? And it was on the news. I turned the TV on and there it was. All the officers were out there, all the control officers were out there, and the dog was locked in the car. They didn't say that the air conditioning was on until later. However, this is still a dangerous thing to do, guys, because you can't count on your air conditioner running continuously like that in your car. You know, it's just very, very dangerous. If the dog, and, and I will say, too, that the, uh, Dogs can actually hyperventilate 
just from the feeling of the air conditioner. If, and normally people, if they're going to do that, they turn them on high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's blowing on the dog. Uh, if it goes out, doesn't change the fact that the dog will be in a hot, hot car, 120 degrees, 130 degrees. Am I crazy to say, like, you have an appointment. Why are you bringing your dog? Hello. I, I mean, that, why yeah. does your dog have to go with you? I know. And this, and a lot of times people will say to me, well, I had to take, I picked up the dog at the vet, and so I had to drop. Don't do it. Yeah. Take the dog home. You know, wintertime, it's a little bit different. It still gets hot, but not that hot. Mm -hmm. Not to put them in, in, a, in jeopardy, you know, with yeah. their health. Yeah. So. Well, thank right. you, Pat. We've Pat, gone forever so on much. this, of course. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Be sure you. to catch Dog Talk Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Well,